You know, why don't you show your dyke vegan boots? You crotch. I have a hole in my pants the shape of Marissa's mouth. Oh, hello. You're watching Antagavision. Hello, this is Ethan Minsker from the Antagonist Art Movement. We're here. It's January 7th, 2010. Holy shit. Um, we're having a show tonight. I'm going to introduce you to the curator. So, let's go. Uh, my name is Shannon Doherty. I've been curating shows for three years. This is my first official show with the Antagonist. Uh, I'm very excited about it. And the show is on iconography. I have exhibited seven artists with their take on modern iconography with past influences and present influences, be it in the media, religion, what have you. The first one uh, that I'll introduce is Jack Jers, and I've watched his style evolve and grow. Currently in this show, he's put a lot of his black and gray pieces in on his views of iconography, which has more of a jumbled effect. You can see that they're collaged together pieces and parts. Uh, the next artist on the wall, her name is Gabby Archambault. She has a few pieces up as part of an alphabet series. Maya Angelou is one of them that you'll see in there. Very bright, very vivid colors. She kind of best exemplifies things that she sees in the media to contribute to iconography. Shannon Beal, a very close friend of mine, she has put her series up and her take of God on the internet. Like Aesthetically, they're very pleasing, all while looking at this kind of pixelated view of what she believes to fit into this uh, series. It would be Johnny Pop. Uh, John has a comic book and video game kind of influence. Set up on plexiglass, pixelated images of things from the, the Atari era video games. You'll see Mario, Bowser, it's kind of fun. They're very bright, very poppy images. Mike Kershaw, he has this nice giant piece uh, from the famous Calvin and Hobbes series. It's more of a modified version of Calvin as one of the characters. And last but not least is Chantel Smith, who introduced me to the antagonist art movement. And her piece is a little more inclined to religious aspects. Um, I believe it's called Repent, You Fucks. So it's a very bright, very vivid piece. And it's newer to me because I've seen a lot of darker hues in her work, like darker shades and colors and everything. So it's a very bright, very poppy piece. I've submitted three pieces on how I feel women have influenced iconography in various religions, past and present. And I tried to spin it a little by changing certain things you would see in traditional images and kind of altering it to my own style. And those are also pen and ink on canvas. As a curator, what do you look for? In terms of style, I like to see things that you wouldn't see out there. Like I want to see people who are a little more groundbreaking, which is hard to do, being everyone comes from a radius of influences that kind of repeat themselves, but it's nice to see something different. It's nice to see a new approach, and I like to find works that fit together cohesively as a group of people, as well as their artwork where you can kind of see some similarities, but you definitely know that it's all part of one scheme. A lot of times I do things working with themes, and I know themes tend to be a little more complicated at first. I get a lot of people who are hesitant about it. They ended up liking it a lot. Uh, anytime there's a theme in a show, you come up with a lot of surprises, and it's really nice to see the element of surprise. You can contact me at shannon.doherty at gmail.com, and yes, the same name as the actress, but it's spelled S-H-A-N-N-O-N dot D-A-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y, and that's at gmail.com.